Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see a tutorial from Sonic Liquid Foam. So Sonic Liquid Foam is a compressible solver uh, which takes account of Sonic and Liquid. So it says Sonic Liquid Foam and this was a pimple algorithm to solve the cases. Now we will look at the case and try to run the tutorial simulation. So if you want to know the location of the tutorial, so this is the location if you want to copy it. It is uh, under foam tutorials location under compressible under sonic liquid foam we are running the tutorial case called the decompression tank so i have already copied it so i'll just run it and that is the location where i am at okay i, I will open it in explorer and we will look at it we have the velocity file here here as you can see the boundary which we have contains five different patches one is front back nozzle axis and outer wall so front and back is going to be empty and we have a nozzle where in velocity they have mentioned zero gradient and outer wall is set to no slip so it is basically wall and we have a symmetry plane around axis so if you open pressure now you will understand it better because uh, compressible flows are generally pressure driven so we are giving values for pressure as you can see the internal field is uniform 10 power 7 and we are setting the nozzle fixed value to 0 uniform 0 and as usual front and back is empty because we are going to deal with a 2d case and axis is symmetry plane and outer wall is set to 0 gradient because we have defined 0 velocity in velocity file okay now before we do anything else i will generate the mesh so you get the physical idea of what we are actually trying to solve okay this is the block mesh deck we are having the vertices and here we are trying to make four blocks so uh, from those four blocks we are trying to make uh, five different faces which is front back nozzle axis and outer wall as we already saw Okay, and we have set the front and back to empty okay now i will go to the terminal window and i will type block mesh so this will essentially create the block for us now before running the simulation we will view what the mesh actually is i'll open para view and click on apply okay we have this mesh as you can see we have only one cell in the z direction which means it is uh, a 2d case because if i choose just front and back faces we have these two so this is set to empty which means we are dealing with a 2d case okay and this is the axis wall and this entire thing is outer wall as you can see and this small patch the entry is what is nozzle okay okay now the physical problem actually is it is called decompression tank because if you noticed in the pressure the initial field is 10 power 7 right so the nozzle is set to zero which means it is getting decompressed and while decompressing there is going to be shock waves which are going to get generated inside the uh, domain fluid domain and uh, what fluid domain are we actually looking at to know that we will open the transport properties under transport properties we can see that the dynamic viscosity is set to 0 0.001 so it could be any fluid at any um, realistic values for dynamic viscosity of 0 0.001 but we are not deciding on what fluid it is it could be air but only the value matters as of now and if i open the thermodynamic properties file it says the rho naught as a thousand and p naught as hundred thousand and we have psi as 4.54 into 10 power minus 7. it is a very low value 
okay now these are the thermodynamic properties of this case so if you actually do gas dynamics you can refer to these values so those are the same elements i'm not going to go in depth into the equations in this case okay then we have the poly mesh which has the boundary file which talks about the mesh we just created so this is just talking about the geometry which we have where the front is empty back is empty and we have these many faces okay and we have nozzle it has only five face it is a patch because we are trying to do pressure outlet there and we have the axis which is a symmetry plane and uh, we have walls so we have set front and back into empty group we have set the axis as symmetry plane group and outer wall into wall groups so that is just usual thing and we are not going to worry about these files okay now we will take a bit of look at our control duct and the control duct we can see that the application is actually sonic liquid foam and uh, as usual we are starting at zero time but the delta t is very very small like 5 into 10 power minus 7 seconds and the end time is also very small it is around 0 0.0001 seconds okay so this is basically 50 mil microseconds uh, so that is how small we are trying to treat it so it we can also do adaptive time stepping if you don't want the current number to blow up but it is very uh, common to keep very small time steps for a compressible case so we will stick with whatever there is in the tutorial we are not going to change anything and write control is going to be time step in this case so after 0 0.0001 seconds it will reach the end time and the simulation will end under fv solution we can see that this solver is actually using pimple algorithm which is a combination of simple simple algorithm and piezo algorithm so that is what we are trying to do here and we have n outer characters as 2 n characters as 1 and n orthogonal characters as 0 if you want to run more iteration for every time step you can uh, change these values to get proper convergence but for this tutorial whatever values they have given is uh, sufficient enough to run the case without any problems so we are not going to touch it also if you want to have higher tolerance you can change these values and uh, set up your case but now i am not going to do that i am just trying to run the tutorial case okay now we have saw all the files and uh, we are ready to run the simulation uh, decomposing is not really necessary because we have very less number of cells to check that i will do check mesh command and we can see the mesh is okay um, if you scroll up you can see we have only 3725 cells so that is uh, decent enough there is one interesting observation like you can see 300 and 3725 cells here also if you go to the boundary you can see that the front and back has 3725 which is exactly same as this what this means is it is a 2d case and whatever we are seeing in the front is projected in the 3d direction which is z direction so uh, it is just a confirmation i mean we can also get it confirmed visually from viewing it in para view but this is also one method and all the mesh is okay so we can run sonic liquid foam and hit enter Now the simulation has finished and we can view it in para view i'm going here and we have all the time steps so i can go to para view click on apply and it is better to create a slice at z normal otherwise uh, we would be seeing the entire mesh okay now this is fine and if you hit this button you can play how the pressure is propagating as you can see here it is a very low value and because of decompression there is some uh, shock waves pressure waves which are created inside this tank and it is propagating if you go to velocity 
again if you play the velocity you can see how the velocity is propagating here and uh, you can also see for the density changes right okay that is what we are observing from this case in the decompression so other than these three we do not have any parameters here that's it about this video i hope you found it slightly useful for your setup of sonic liquid foam if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section see you in another video thank you